We have a problem at Babel. Caridian rebels have taken several Federation trade officials hostage. They're threatening to kill them unless the UFP withdraws from the Corridan sector. I'd like you to work with the negotiation team and try to resolve this peacefully. Hang on. You're asking me to resolve something peacefully? Not sure that's the best thing, uh, Admiral. But I'll give it a go. All right. Wait. Captain, I need to speak with you in my quarters. I think it's time for that explanation I owe you. Very well, I'll be there shortly. There's more to this mission than you realize, Captain. Something's not right. I'll explain shortly. Yeah, as I was saying before, the voices came in. They've added uh, in the pick uh, latest series of Picard uh, when they introduced the uh, Starfleet Museum. They had added the USS Pioneer as one of the ships in the museum. To hell with honor over and over again. I'm not keen on that particular uh, TFO. It's it, it's a pain that one. I did it. The Wagner TFO. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it could be worse. They could, they could have um, Mars again. Um, I, I can only do that uh, TFO with the uh, uh, with the music turned off. Talking of music, strange that my background music seems to have vanished. Hello, Skelly. Good, great that you are here. Skelly is a great streamer too, and I've hung out in his uh, channel for many a time. I uh, definitely recommend him. And is the shout out going to work? No, it's not. My shout out is broken. Oh no. Is that one going to work? No. Sorry, Skelly, I tried. Binary stars, yeah. Um, that's a much better one. I can't remember which other ones are in it, but uh, yeah. Right, return to Babel. Yet another original series episode that they've taken concepts from and have written fresh stuff around it um, and it, it, it's, it's 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 interesting and, and they've taken some sound clips from it as well and yeah it, it's good how they've done it they've put some thought to this even if the engine could do with an upgrade right do give Skelly a, uh, a, a try some point. It is definitely worth it. Right, okay. Accepting the landing party. Don't have any choice, really. All right. I appreciate your patience. I'm what's known as a temporal agent. It's my job to preserve the timeline. You helped me stop one temporal incursion at K-13. There's been another at Babel, and I can use your help with it. Welcome to the Temporal Ready Room. I use it to monitor the timeline. The Nakul have sent agents to a critical point in time. We believe they disrupted the Babel Conference in 2268 for the USS Enterprise. I want to send you back there to stop them. You'll be sent back to a point shortly before the conference begins. I'm sending one of our best Temporal agents along. I believe you've met. Nice to see you again. It's been some time. For me, at least. For you, I see hardly any time has passed at all. It must be strange to see me looking... Uh, older. 
Once you're on Enterprise, deal with the Nakul and make sure the conference proceeds as planned. You'll have a temporal transponder, which will allow me to communicate with you and bring you back. You'll also have these bio scanners. They're short range, but will detect the Nakul agents nicely. Do the job right, and no one will know we're right there. It's interesting there, the comments about, uh, it must be strange to see me looking older. The previous episodes have established that my character and, uh, uh, oh, come on, uh, Chekhov, were at the academy together. So Chekhov here is now seemingly an old man and a couple, only a couple of years has passed for, for himself. Right, and Skelly, before I go on, how did upper body day go at the gym? Are you are you feeling the worst wear for it? The situation at Babel shouldn't be happening. Something in the past has changed, and not for the better. Okay, we'll make this right. Transport to Enterprise 2268. The year I graduated the academy. The year that Chekhov graduated. Let's begin by using Enterprise's sensors to look for signs of our time traveling friends. The computer won't have any details on the Nakul, so you'll need to recalibrate the sensors manually on the bridge. I'll take care of it. Oh, and one more item to be aware of. Ensign Pavel Chekhov is currently on duty on the bridge, which is why I will be remaining here out of sight. As much as I would like to visit the bridge again, two of me in the same place would raise questions neither of us wants to answer. Understood. I'll leave my officers here with you too, just in case. Let's get to work. I will check with you again after you are done on the bridge. I haven't worn this uniform for some time. It's a little... snug. Uh, my walk function seems to have broke, so I'm going to quickly keybind walk in again. Have a lift to bridge. Yeah, Pavel Chekhov. Recalibrate the sensors. Nice work. I'm getting some readings from Deck 11, but I can't pinpoint them. Some sort of interference. We'll need to get close and scan by hand. Start at the mess hall. There are a lot of people coming and going there. Right, heading to Deck 11 now. Right, turbo lift to Deck 11. I think this episode was where we met the Andorians for the first time. Are you chatting me up there? I love her attempt at being surreptitious about scanning people. Oh, oh cut the scene. Orkan, I would speak to you. It does seem unavoidable. How do you vote on the Corridon in mission? I say that's lifted from the, uh, the episode.
Senses are showing that one of the delegates is leaving the lounge. Follow him. He might be trying to slip out before you can get a scan. I'm on it, he won't get far. Is there something I can help you with? Apologies, Ambassador. Just a routine check for biocontaminants. Oh, should I be concerned? It was my understanding that the transporter filters out biohazards. Being especially thorough, Ambassadors, for everyone's safety. You understand, I'm sure. Of course. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Have a pleasant um, evening, Ambassador. To check off. Looks like they're on the move. I'm still getting a lot of false readings on the sensors. Let's keep checking the deck. Like the old Russian saying goes, two heads are better than one. Right, let's head back to the junction and collect some readings. Being here takes me back. It was quite a different time for start. Head back toward the reception. There he is. Wait, that's Ambassador Gav. One down and likely more to go. There's nothing we can do for Ambassador Gav, unfortunately. Memory serves. Captain Kirk was attacked next. Right, just snooze some ads. So this ad's coming up in five minutes. So I need to bear that in mind. Right, let's move before it's too late for Kirk. The captain's wound is serious. He'll bleed out if we don't help him. Stabilize him quickly. Dr. McCoy will be here shortly to finish the job. Leave it to me. Looks like the captain is stabilized. We need to move. I've detected the cool technology in engineering. Right, we'll stop them there. It is that way. Sorry, wrong way. Losing my bearings on the turbo lift. Going to engineering. Such a bomb in here. I cannot have user and key the minions online at the same time. Wait, check off. Is that you? You look older than me, laddie. And you? The last time I saw you was on the Rosanna station. Something was dodgy then, and it's more than a wee bit dodgy now. It's complicated, Scotty. We've been sent back in time to keep the Enterprise from being destroyed. Aliens are trying to alter the future of the Federation. There's no time to explain. You have to trust us, old friend. We're here to help. All right, lad. You can start by helping me keep this ship from blowing to pieces. And get rid of that bloody bomb, if you can. 
Right. Just tell us what you need us to do, Scotty. Divert power to the number four shield. Number four. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Auxiliary power. Two weapons. Auxiliary power to weapons. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Repair teams to deck 19. Okay, repair teams to deck 19. Good work. Now check on that bomb. The cop was ordering me to cut the power. Uh, I see what he's about. That ship has just been introduced to the game I've in got one of the. Uh, we can't disarm this bomb, uh, but we need to get packs. to that Orion ship anyway. We can take it with us. Why not just be one of the gamble space? packs? We can't let that ship be captured. It has dangerous technology on it. Scotty, I need you to trust me. That ship needs to be destroyed. You can't tell anyone what happened here. It could damage the timeline irreparably. Besides, I'm captain now. So I technically outrank you. All right, lad. I'll take you at your word. Once you're ready, I'll send you and that bomb over. Right. Beam to the Orion ship. Hopefully I can pause Good the pads if he comes up in Energizing. this time. Now, what's this? Oh, don't say I've left the scanner behind. The Orions will lock down their ship. We need to override their security systems. One console overridden. And the second one. Oh, let's try and snooze the ad again. to attach the bomb to the Orion ship's engine controls. I'll need you to cover me. See if you can hold them at the doorway so they can't shoot me in the back. I'll try and keep them away from you. Oh. That's it. 
kind of looks like it. The bomb is in place. Not much time left. We need to get out of here before we go down with the ship. So right, Daniels, come in. Beam us up, Daniels. Make our next meeting a little awkward. Indeed. Comes with the job, I'm afraid. In the meantime, I can send you and Captain Chekhov back to your respective timelines when you're ready. Thanks, Daniels. That was quite an adventure. I think you have the makings of a fine temporal agent, my friend. As good as it was to see Enterprise again, I have other duties to attend to. We're preparing for a very serious event, the Battle of Procyon 5. That conflict will determine the... Ah, but you don't need to worry about that now. Enjoy your time on the frontier of yesteryear. A time that will never come again. True. Thanks for everything, Captain. Until next time. And here we go, returning to Sector. report in the non-event. A lot could have gone wrong today. We could have lost critical figures in history. Sarek of Vulcan, James Kirk, and the crew of the Enterprise. The list is long. However, the timeline was preserved, thanks to you and Captain Chekhov. The Babel Conference proceeds as planned, and Corridan is admitted to the Federation. Well done. I'll continue to monitor the timeline for incursions. I hope I can count on you again when the time comes for action. Right. Yeah, I thought there was a choice. Vulcan male tactical officer, uh, human male tactical officer, or Tellarite female tactical officer. Let's go with the human male tactical. Right, collect reward. Congratulations, Lieutenant. 